What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna do kind of like a bug out, bug out bag, ruck, three day assault bag kind of video. Um, I've got this one set up for stuff that I do with the militia. So your, your bag may look a little different than mine. Uh, this can also be used as a bug out bag, kind of, it's got all the essential bug out bag items. Um, and then over here on the side, we've got a couple honorable mentions. And then the Wolby is also part of the, uh, part of the summer rendition of this pack. Right now I've got it set up for winter because it's obviously winter time. Same with the wool blanket. The wool blanket is part of the, uh, summer, summer kit. Um, and then over here, we've got the... A 511 jacket and coyote. I had this at the 511 store here in Austin. Um, it's off of 290 and Mopac. If nobody knows where it's at, um, that's where it is. Uh, right here, I've got my cold layers. Uh, these did not make it into the pack when I was packing it because I forgot about them like an idiot. Um, I do have a pair of wool socks already in there, uh, but I prefer these ones because these ones are a lot warmer. Uh, I packed two because just in case one gets wet, I've got a second pair. Um, and then here's the wool blanket. Um, both the wool blanket and the wooby you can get off of Amazon. Um, and I will link those down below in the description if anyone's interested in it. Um, we'll go more in depth on that later. Um, but let's get into the pack, the way I've got it set up and everything. So... I've got my O positive because I'm O positive. Uh, this is a cool little patch I found on Amazon. It's Coyote Flag with the thin blue line on it. Um, I'll link that in the description. Uh, these name tapes I got off of 100. Uh, wait, no, 1800nametapes.com. Um, and then these little uh, D rings that have the nice little screw here so you can secure it. I got from Walmart for. A couple of dollars <laughs> I think they were like not eight or nine dollars um, if I can find them on Amazon I'll link them down below um, this is a little paracord thing I bought at the Army Navy store here in Austin that's now no longer in business uh, called Banana Bay um, I'm pretty sure you could find it on online um, so start here in the front and then we'll go around the bag so I've got my entrenching tool right here with two magazines beside it. Uh, what I have in here is the Gerber entrenching tool. Um, I don't know if it says Gerber anywhere on it, I'm going to be honest. Uh, wait, I'm an idiot. It's right there where it says Gerber USA. I got this off of Amazon as well, so I'll link that in the description below. We're kind of just lay everything out as we go through it um got one p mag gen 2 um so i don't have 205 p mags uh this is just part of my ocd i've got two there to indicate it that it's a gen 2 magazine and then it's my fifth magazine in my bunch um and then same goes for this one this one's 204 Um, this I've kind of just got connected to the pack. I'm not going to take it off. So then behind that, actually, we'll go into the side first. <laughs> go to the, oh. So on this side, I've got my M9 bayonet um, from Ontario Knife Co. Uh, they do sell these on Amazon. So I will link those in the description below. I'll go ahead and just take that off just for the sake of taking it off like everything else <laughs> uh, right here I've got a canteen um, we'll get that out here this is difficult to do with one hand uh, so I do have a tripod for my GoPro I just it's really short and doesn't work <laughs> so I'm gonna have to kind of do this uh, without it Come on, get out of there. That's what she said. All right, cool. So this is a canteen that I also believe I bought on Amazon. Uh, 
if I can find it on Amazon, I'll link it in the description below. Um, I actually have two of them, one on each side of the bag. Um, I think right now would be a good time to say that uh, the bag is, it weighs about 45, 50 pounds maybe. Yeah. If that, I don't know, I haven't weighed it. I don't have a scale here at home because I'm broke, so I don't have scale yet. Um, again, it's the same canteen, same style. I think I bought them at the same time. Uh, so right here, I don't have anything yet, but I do plan on putting uh, iodine tablets in there. Um, let's go into the yoink. Oh, man, let's go into this front kangaroo pouch that's supposed to be for a helmet but I don't put my helmet in there um, I don't really have a reason why I just don't um, come on there we go so I've got my pillow in there right now my little travel pillow uh, I think I bought that at the PX I don't remember um, and I'll probably also stuff my cold layers in here as well um, just because I don't have room in the pack, at least on my winter winter pack setup, on my summer pack setup, they go in there just because I have more room because I'm not packing a big ass freaking cold weather sleeping bag. <coughs> so we'll cinch this back up so that we can get into the uh, um, the bag the front pouch ah. so up here in the front we have oh, we're just gonna open it all the way up oh. we have a roll of 100 mile an hour tape I got this one at the PX um, if I can find this stuff on Amazon I'll link it on Amazon otherwise I don't know where else to get it except for at the PX. <laughs> uh, so I've got two road flares down in here. Um, they're just the Orion ones. You can go anywhere and get those. Uh, they sell them at Walmart. They sell them in packs of three or six. I can't remember. Um, and then I also have some chem lights here. I've got a yellow, a green, and a white one or blue one. I can't remember. The blue and the white look the same. Got a headlamp here. Uh, this one does not have red, unfortunately. Um, I thought this was the one that had red. I think my wife has the uh, one that is red. Um, so here's a mini survival kit. So let's just say you're bugging out real quick and you don't wanna run the whole pack. Um, here's a survival kit that's got pretty much everything you need in it. We'll kinda Get down here and open it up a little bit. Oop, shoot. So, this is kind of just a quick grab and go one. Nothing special. It's got an emergency blanket, a paracord bracelet, a whistle. It's got a little pen light here. Nothing special. It's just got a little, little switch right there. It's a whistle, the paracord. This paracord has a ferrocium rod in it and a whistle, so that's kind of cool. The ferrocium rod's right there. Um, and then the striker's just on the buckle there. Just close that back up. Take these two things out. Right there. It has a compass. And like a little cool little multi multi tool sleeve thing with a little pouch um, has a flashlight that doesn't work apparently unless I just didn't put batteries in it which is on me because I usually will have batteries in my kit I just don't have them right now cuz I'm a terrible at packing <laughs> it has a little little folder knife here it's kind of nifty and that's how big it is. It has like a little bottle opener there. And it looks like it may have a hex head thing right there. Which is pretty cool. Um, and then for redundancy, they have a ferrocium rod. A full 
first am rod with a measuring tool and a striker i'm believing you can strike it with that um and then they've got like a little tactical pen here can be used as a window punch or anything of that matter anyways guys unpack this up and then uh we'll get back into it all right guys so now that we're all packed up again um this container it's in is not heavy duty it's very cheap and very light um so take that for what you will if you want to buy one buy this kit remove the foam and put it into like a pelican or something that's a little bit sturdier that's on you but it comes fully prepared on amazon ships to your door no big deal you can toss these in your truck in your car and then you've got utensils around you it doesn't have to go into your bag i just i like redundancy and this helps with redundancy um my whoopee is opening up on me so i've got a compass here just some good old military lensatic compass these are on amazon for like 70 or 80 bucks um and so i will link those below as well and it just held together by a snap and then back here it's got uh alice, alice clip which you can swap out for molly if you want to um further down in the bag here oh nice oh remember how i was saying it was cheap yeah so one of the uh one of the one of the little retaining buckles broke on that case so i may end up doing the whole pelican route thing and buying a small pelican <laughs> uh, so further down in here we've got some baby powder because uh in the field when you start chafing it sucks so there's that got some wet ones i've got two of these in here i've got one in here and then i've got one i think in the main compartment um again redundancy uh, i will end up putting baby wipes in here i just i'm gonna upgrade to a bigger pack and once i get the bigger pack i can put the wet wipes in here um i've got a little walmart brand ozark trail light it's not a bad light um and again i don't go all out on all my gear just on the stuff that matters so like the flashlights really to me don't make a big deal um and if i can find the ozark trail stuff on amazon i'll link it down there the wet ones obviously i'll link everything so y'all can go down there and pick them up off amazon if that's what you'd like to do a life straw i believe i got this one at walmart but you guys can also get them off of amazon um i would say don't rely on these solely make sure you've got a container or whatever if you've got a container just um i believe the canteen lid is big enough where you can put the life straw in the uh lid of the canteen oh wait just kidding i don't think the canteen lid is big enough yeah the canteen lid's not big enough although yeah but what you could do is you might be able to tip it up and get some out of it i don't know it's just an idea that i just thought of right here on the fly so i didn't i figured it would be big enough but it's not um so yeah i, th I think you could buy sawyers that will fit on a canteen so sawyer straw i or the sawyer filters i will probably end up getting those as well um so in this back mesh pouch is kind of empty um no real reason i'll probably put another life straw i think i can fit four in here so i might put four life straws in here just so i've got them and i can give them out to my team or whoever i'm with so down here i've got these uco stormproof matches that i bought at walmart for five bucks um i've used them they're fun to use um but they're not 100 percent stormproof they do go out um right here i have a fire kit um we'll kind of break that open just like we did with the uh survival kit um and this fire kit you can also buy on amazon it has a little retaining bungee that i really like um and it is a tin can so it does 
kind of deform over time. So in here, if I can get it open, there we go. So in here, it has a cutting tool, little cute little knife here. It's actually a cool little knife. Kind of like it. <clears throat> um, and it's got some wood dowels that you can make um, some tinder with. Oh, my knees are killing me, bro. And then it has a fur seam rod, the striker, which you can also use to make tinder with. And then some more tinder, a saw, a chainsaw that you take a, yeah. Some rope, which I'm pretty sure that's for kindling maybe, I don't know. I don't know what that's in there for. And then down below you've got more, more tender. It's, buy this on Amazon for like five bucks, I think. Five or six bucks. Um, I'll link it down below in the description, like everything else. But we're going to pack this one back up, and then we'll get back at it. All right, now that we're all packed up again, this is what the tin looks like. You know, just a simple little fire, fire kit. I like it because uh, it made packing easier, honestly. Uh, and it was kind of like a last minute thing whenever I picked it up I was like hey I'm going out I need a I need a fire kit need a kind of both bought both the fire kit and the um the survival kit at the same time so in here I've got some stan egg mags um you know kind of just something to give to a buddy like Let's say he's got an AR that won't run P mags. I can give him some stan eggs. Um, also, I can use the stan eggs, so it's not not a big deal. Well, I think that's it for this pocket. Just double check all the pockets. I think we're good. Um, then we'll move on to one of the sides. So one side I've got hygiene stuff, and then the other side I have. Uh, um, steaks. Mm -hmm. Open it up. Alright, so this one's hygiene. So I've got some cleansing wipes. Um, again, not baby wipes, but they're cleansing wipes, so pretty sure they'll work. So I got a reusable uh, razor. Um, so that's the the extra blades. Here's the razor. It's the Schick Hydro 5 razor. Um, it doesn't have a cover on it, so I may try to find one or make one. Um, and then I've got my poncho down in here. Hold on, let me undo the, the strap. So I've got a ACU poncho in here. Um, I'm still saving up money to get a multicam one. The multicam one's like a hundred bucks. So the these were like fifteen bucks at the Army Navy store. So I just picked up these. It's not a big deal to have ACU instead of um, OCP or multicam. And then on the other side here, we've got the tent stakes. Uh -huh. Now I don't have a toothbrush to put in here, so I just grabbed the one that I have in the bathroom and whenever I'm going out for the weekend. So these are metal stakes. So these. I got a few of them with the um, backpacking tent that I have, and then I already bought a few from Walmart. And then I also have just a, a regular plastic ones. I've got four of those here. Uh, you can buy these at Walmart, and I'll probably link link them in the description below. They're just kind of yellow tent stakes. <clears throat> if that's something y'all want, y'all can find them on Amazon. Then I've got some paracord from Tough Grid. I literally just bought these off Amazon going out because I could not find my paracord that I have. So it's kind of a last minute. I need paracord, so I just bought it and it kind of just stays in this bag until I need it. Um, once it comes out of the bag, I'll get a, um, a paracord um, spool tool. So there's that. 
Um, and then we'll go into the main main compartment. We'll kind of just unload it top down because that seems to be the easiest way to do it. Um, also, toward the end of the video, I will insert a picture of everything laid out. Um, if so, if y'all are interested in looking at it all as it's laid out. So up here in this top pocket, it's kind of a double access pocket, slides through. Um, I don't really have a use for it. I just have a bunch of cliff bars. Uh, honestly, these have been sitting in here for probably about a year and I nibble on them whenever I go out into the field. Um, I guess I'll, I'll just download it all and then get it all ready for the picture. I also have a uh a freaking tin can opener god dang uh i forget what the uh what the military code is for them but you see it i'll find it i'll link it below uh i bought them off of amazon i think i got a pack of like 10 <laughs> and they're really cheap i got like a pack of 10 for like five bucks something like that just throw these out there um Kind of just. Uh, and then here's the tent that I was talking about. It is a River River Country Products backpacking tent that I got off of Amazon. Uh, it's a great tent. I slept in it. Um, I kind of half-assed put it up because it was dark when I put it up, and so the first time I used it, it it got the condensation built up inside because I didn't open up the vents. So. I got the wool socks that I was talking about that I don't really care for these ones as much as I do the other ones. Uh, these ones I bought at the uh, PX on base. Um, and then if I can find these online I'll, or on Amazon, I'll link them below. I'll just have them listed as military brown or military uh, wool socks. Um, and then I've got MREs. So I've got two MREs in here. I've got, well, they're not full MREs, they're stripped. Um, and I do need to put a spoon in here because I don't feel a spoon in here. Um, I do have, oh shoot, you know what I forgot to, I forgot to do the top pouch. <laughs> we'll get everything I've done here and then I'll do the top pouch because the top pouch does have um, silverware in it. So, my bad. Uh, basically, so if y'all want a video on how I strip the MREs, um, I'll, link, I'll build a video on it. Uh, but basically this is what it looks like stripped. You, you, strip. you get the main main ingredient, uh, drink powder, and then, oh wait, there's a spoon there. Okay, so I, I did have the forethought to put the spoon in there. Um, it's the drink powder that I use. Um, I usually put the drink powder um, if there's pudding in there, I put the pudding in there because the pudding is not bad. Um, and it gives you calories and everything. Um, and, but I can go over this more in detail later. I'll buy new MREs and I can show you how I strip it. Um, but anyways, there's two in each MRE bag. This one was the beef taco. I don't know what's in there now. <laughs> um, so, as you can see from, this is my sleeping bag, uh, my winter sleeping bag. It's not the military one, but I did buy a black military um, sleeping system compression bag to compress it as much as I could to get it in here. So it kind of takes up a majority of the bag, which is why the cold weather gear is probably going to be strapped to the outside of the bag. Um, Here's a poncho. So again, redundancy for, um, or not a poncho, it's a, like a little packing tarp that I bought off of Amazon. Um, but a little bit of redundancy, I can build a shelter with, with this poncho. It's just a coyote tan poncho, nothing serious. It's in a little mesh bag, mesh carry bag. Um, and then I've got um, some microfiber towels. Got a body towel 
and then I've got a washcloth um, for just hygiene and shit heaven forbid you get you get wet or whatever you take a shower while you're out in the field you know take a bath whatever you've got something to dry off with and then I've got uh, four skivvy rolls in here um, if you want a video on how to make skivvy rolls I'll link that down below um, it's kind of how I make them there's probably better ways to do it but I like doing it this way um, I've got four of those in here kind of just stuff them down beside the, the sleeping bag and again I'll lay all this stuff out and take a picture of it for everybody so they can kind of see what it looks like all all in there um, so here's a sleeping sleeping bag I'm not gonna take it out because it was a pain in the ass to put in um, that's the only thing I'm not gonna take out of the bag sorry actually I might stay tuned I might who knows so back here I've got two shamogs I've got a blue shamog that I bought first because I used it when I was working out at a um, at a post here in Austin during the summertime I just got it wet and wrapped it around my head um, I got it in blue because at that time my uniform was blue um, I do security so um, and then I've got a coyote one um, I believe you can get both of these on Amazon if not I'll just link to shimogs on Amazon that way y'all can find them quicker y'all don't have to go looking for them and um, so there's that kind of got a mess over here because I got lazy um, oh hey I do have some Charmin Charmin fresh mates which are basically baby wipes I forgot those were in there <laughs> Um, and then I've got some hand warmers. Um, I want to get some of the body warmers just because the, this last weekend, whenever I went out with this kit, I was freezing my ass off because all I had was the wooby and the uh, wool blanket. I underestimated the Texas cold and thought that was good enough, and I froze. <laughs> um, and then I've got a little discontinued SOG, uh, like bu bushcraft knife. Um, it's the field pup two or field pup one they now have the field pup two and i got this for like 40 bucks because it was on uh it was being uh discontinued at the cabela's i i found it at so i picked that up for 40 bucks again redundancy i've got a fixed blade knife here i've got my bayonet um and i'm trying to put a machete on here just because last time i went out it would have been nice to have a machete to break through the brush um, I think that's, I think that covers it. So, anyways guys, this is also kind of a review on the 511 Rush 72 bag. You all kind of can see how it's got the uh, side, pockets, po little, uh, side pockets here. And it's got little um, internal pockets for, um, organization and i believe both sides look the same and there's one up here and then one down in here um they've got mesh mesh zippers on the inside oh crap i'm gonna have to take this out hold on time out i'm gonna i'm gonna pause take out the sleeping bag so i can show you the rest of the bag all right i'll be right back all right so back to the bag so again we talked about the mesh pouches here the mesh pouch up here that's got the uh that I had the shamogs in. Oh, and then here's the uh, um, internal retention pouch right here. I don't know what people put in there. I typically don't use it, but I'm pretty sure there's some people out there who would use it. So it's in there. Um, and then down here, it's got like a closed off little pocket um, that I usually put my skivvies in and everything whenever I'm packing for a trip. Um, this bag is now going to be decommissioned as my trip bag. And it's going to be my militia bug out bag. This is the sunglass holder which I just put change and spare stuff in there that I got to put away real quick. Um, it's nothing fancy. Uh, typically I use this as my carry on bag. Um, I don't like to put stuff underneath the aircraft 
so I use this as my carry-on bag um, I'm gonna probably end up getting a solid color or maybe the uh, double tap color um, which y'all will see in the future and again I am in my kitchen so the surrounding area is going to be exposed like the freaking trash can <laughs> but anyways we'll get back into the uh, top here because I totally forgot to freaking talk about it um, so it's got one big pouch here in the top um, if you get the 24 which I do have it's got a partitioned pouch which I don't know why but up here I've just got a Ozark trail um, mess kit well I, I say mess kit it's more like silverware kit um, and it is kind of sandy and from Arizona because I did use it out in Arizona when we were camping because I in our genius oh wait hey look all right so this is what it looks like it breaks apart <laughs> I just tossed it on the floor and it just broke apart so it's got a spoon a knife oh so a spoon and knife um, and then oh, we'll just open it up what in the heck is that like so that's like a, a pick I guess like tell me I don't know I don't know what that is honestly and then on this side you've got a fork a bottle opener and a corkscrew so there's that cool little tool toy tool whatever you want to call it and then I've got multicam gloves in here you know just in case you're moving wood or whatever don't want to get a cut while you're out in the out where nobody else can help you so here I've got a magnesium bar and a ferrocium rod in it and then I've got pens for writing I've got two black and a blue for writing stuff down um, I've got a right in the rain pad and then I've got a little New Testament Bible because I'm Christian and yeah so there's that anyways guys so this is the pack I will get everything organized and then I'll take a picture and then y'all can kind of look it over um, I may do like a little bit of a pan once I get done with the camera so y'all can kind of see things as I go by them but anyways guys let me get this cleaned up and then Alright guys, 
thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video um like always if you enjoyed it please like it leave a comment below if you think i deserved it please subscribe um if you like what you saw in this video um and you think there's more that i could add to it or that if you think there's too much because i do like having comfort things and that's why i have a lot of different things most people probably want to have three different types of cleansing wipes but you know your boy tries to stay clean you know ain't trying to get dirty um because when you're dirty it leads to sickness with that coronavirus thing going around you know ain't nobody want to be sick right now um <clears throat> if there's anything you think i should add to it let me know in the comments below um i'm probably not going to remove anything from it because i am going to end up getting a bigger ruck so i'm not too worried about it right now but uh, anyways, guys, like always, y'all have a good night and be safe. All right, catch you on the next one.